First and foremost, I'd like to say, call Halalium, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makakadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who taught us this truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect Aki and out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice, as the scriptures teach us to do. All right. Shalom to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. I'm the brother Yara Meyer from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. And uh, basically, coming back to you with another lesson. I did the lesson on this damn clown last night, Lil Uzi Vert, this sellout. You know, who these crackers and set up. One of many. You know what I'm saying? Uh, push, push, this is this mark of the beast. This RFID microchip. All right. With that and all this other gradualism. You know, now it's just blatant, but they basically getting you niggas fat, getting you niggas hot and ready, you know, to go in. All right, they setting you niggas up and uh, that and all the other prophecies that we see on the, on the, on the, on the books, so to speak, because the prophecies are jumping right off the pages. You know, that's why the Lord said, surely in the book of Amos, I think it's Amos 3 and 7, surely. Yahweh doing nothing except he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So, with all these things being uh, moved, Esau's moving fast, man. Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. That that gradualism, how they just slowly getting you niggas to, 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 you know, you can't come in the store without the mask on, you know. You can't come in some spots without your temp being checked. You know, facial recognition, all that bullshit is... Geared up for the market of beast. All right. And this, with this dollar collapsing and all these things going on, um, how I want to say it, geopolitically, so to speak, you see. You see it being set up. The stage is being set. All right. World War Three. Everything is being set. These are the last, really the last two things. You know, the, the last two major big prophecies before the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah comes back and destroy this place. All right, because everything else falls under that, whether it be the sedition, and we see that, whether it be the seditions of men, you know, uprising. That's that's happening right now. You know, you got the country, the world is divided, the country is divided. All right, he said they will not regard them, their kings or their princes. You had a whole fucking. <clears throat> Last year, you had a whole damn rebellion against Donald Trump, a whole rebellion that uh stood up for Donald Trump, you know, just, 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 just on a, a mini level of things, you know. You had all this Antifa bullshit, this Black Lives Matter bullshit, you know, it says uproars in many places going into the book of Second Ezra. Why do you think all these things are happening? Because these are the prophecies jumping off the pages, as I just said. You know, that's why the scripture tell you to be occupied in prophecies. The Lord said, and somebody has to be out here to, to let the people know about this. That's why the Lord said he set watchmen upon their walls. I mean, the brother Ramaki was going into that, you know, in that Game of Thrones, man. How they set up the, the night's watch. And there was them watchmen upon them walls. <clears throat> you know, and that had slipped my mind. I thought he, he had quoted that Ezekiel. And that, and that was the truth, you know, and how they dedicated themselves to the labor. That's, that's just how it is, man. You know, they couldn't be, be given into certain things. They couldn't do certain things. They had to lose their whole life. But they'd be forgiven for everything they did once they sat upon their wall. That's how the Lord deals with the prophets, man. He have us come out here to do one strict job, man. And it's to, 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 to tell you people what's to come. All right, of course, to get the blood off our hands, to get the blood off our hands for our own salvation as well, you know. But if these dumb ass niggas don't repent, all right, if they take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, the force or judgment is going to be fall upon them. All right, all this going in, man, if you got that time, you know. Read that second Ezra to the ninth chapter. Second Ezra to the ninth chapter. We literally watching that. 
But what did it say? He said the highest is if you get in a visit to Earth, which he made. None of this is by coincidence. So if you niggas can't see it now, and you without excuse, you're going to be found miserable. You're going to be found naked. All right? You ain't going to be found with oil. The Lord said that he's searching Jerusalem with candles for the men that set it upon their leaves. He got to weed you stupid ass niggas out, man. All you niggas that's lukewarm, bullshitting, sucking and jiving. He said judgment to start with the house of Israel. You got niggas out here. Everybody blatantly see what the mark of the beast is, man. You got niggas out here talk about the mark of the beast is Christianity. Having sex with a white woman. Embargo. All type of madness, man. You know, everything but the truth. When the Lord clearly said, all right, that he received a mark in their right hand or on their forehead. But if you receive that chip anywhere in your body, you know, nevertheless, you're going to get dealt with by your how about shit, how it shine. You're going to lose every chance of salvation ever. And you're not going to be covered and you're not going to be protected. Because you saying you want Esau to be your master. All right? You love your master. You know? Hey, even going back to the law, when they say he put it all through his ear, and he basically branded them. He stamped them. You know, like in the earring. It's a better term for it. You know, because he didn't want to leave his master. Because his master had things for him. But you know, that was in righteousness. Because in the ancient world, we had slaves. We had other Israelites serving us, working for us. You know, things of that matter. What Esau did to us, that wasn't slavery. You going to work, that's slavery. What Esau did to us was bondage. It was hardcore, wicked bondage, man. You know? You don't treat anybody like that. But that's why the Lord said, reward her double for that for what she did to thee. And that double is going to be hardcore. And that's what's coming up the pipe, man. These crackers are, are, are being dealt with, man. And it's starting right now with them destroying their own selves in classic Edomite fashion, which is counterproductivity, you know. They pollute their own water, you know. They pollute their own air. The how about Shimmy how Shai is killing them off with these diseases, with these plagues, with these famines, you know. They uh, they birth rate. I mean, like the Elder Malcolm are always going to, you know. You got Edomites that can't produce. The biggest male Edomite percentage is what? I think he said 10 and under and 50 and over. Dudes that ain't that ain't shooting, you know? So they don't have enough authority anymore. They can't feel the seats anymore to be that dominating factor. So what they do, they gather all you niggas up to think we all in this together and make coons out of you. But that that's not happening. Yeah, how about Shimmy How Shy is dealing with these crackers, man? And this society is falling. And that's why, they, like a rat backs into a corner, they're going to fight. And that fight going to start with Revelations 12 and 12. The devil is coming upon you with great wrath. And the only elect going to be delivered from that, man. Because he said, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Lord is going to lift up his standard. But if you want the Lord to defend you, you must fight. You must stand in this fight. You must stay stiffly. The scriptures talk about those who stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Fuck is you chilling? These crackers ain't chilling. All right, the scriptures say they devise evil on their beds. These, this motherfucking devil don't stop, man. He don't stop, man. And he did a good number on you niggas, man. The scriptures say he's acquired a diligent search. He found every. He was very meticulous with it, man. He um. He found every way to get you niggas separated from your power. That's why the scripture says what. Deceive the elect. If it were possible, he would deceive the very elect. But it ain't possible. You know, it's always going to be men out there standing stiffly. You know, and we encourage each other. We cut ourselves. We discipline ourselves first and foremost. And then we pipe each other up, man. You know, we charge each other up, man. We want to be out of this hell, man. But you sir, two thirds of you niggas got to go. You got to go. You got to go. You got to be born. Back into the kingdom with everlasting shame and content. Being tormented, man. Because you niggas are fucking a pest, man. That's why the Lord said they like a smoke in his nose. I hate you niggas, man. And I hate you weak-ass, fake-ass Israelite. 
Ad water Israelite little niggas, man. That just come on the scene four or five years ago. And you the great. <laughs> you know, just so fucking great. Being on none of you niggas go out anyway. But the Lord gonna really deal with you niggas, man. You know? Let's repent, you know. Akim, daily. Stay strong daily. Pray for each other daily. You know, lift up the blessings. Lift up the curses daily. Meditate terror daily. You know, and I ain't talking about no bootleg or old Ben Latin shit. I'm talking about what the Lord said he going to get the saints, the reward coming to this place. You got to think about what we got coming for this this great fight. You know, taking them small ears for the big W. These people going to be sick. You know, they're going to be fucking sick, man. Hey, we going to get ours, brothers. We going to get ours, man. You know. The Lord gonna get rid of these bitch ass niggas, man. You know, so stay strong in the faith, Aki. You know, stay strong, stay humble. You know, stay wise, man, and just endure. And hey, with that being said, call the loud, you me how a boss, you me how a shot, boss, you me how a kadash. Never wanted to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone, and to the hopeful elect. Shalom.